Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching this video on my channel and help support the awesome artists I feature. And today I'm here with a Mercer. How are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me, Michael. Yeah, yeah, it's great to have you. And I want to start off by saying, uh, with uh, being a solo uh, project, how do you go about doing everything uh, by yourself? <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've been a musician since I was eight years old, um, and I've been in many bands so i've learned to uh pick up a bunch of different instruments over the years um you know like sometimes after band practice i'd stick around and you know secretly play my drummer's drum set you know or uh <laughs> they don't like when you do that but uh you know things like that and just over the years i've become pretty proficient on um you know all of the instruments that you would probably associate with like a rock band so um and then just you know i've been i think i got like a like a four track tape recorder from my mother for a birthday like when i was probably 10 years old or something so uh i've been just recording my whole life and you know so that's kind of how i uh, developed that ability so you know <laughs> awesome what about playing live do you have other members um well we're not at that i'm not at that point yet as far as with the mercer um i moved to i used to live in california i grew up in california and i moved to denver about three years ago um and at that time i had a bunch of uh you know songs that i had from a previous band i was in um and so I didn't really have a band when I moved here. And, you know, I tried to get a couple things going, but nothing really was coming together. And I knew that, you know, hey, I can, I can play all these instruments already. Um, I've always written um, all the songs that I've, you know, in bands, I've always been the main songwriter. And, you know, I've already, you know, I usually bring a, a finished song to the other guys and then just kind of tweak it. So it wasn't anything really different for me to, you know, do something solo. And I just felt like it would be a lot easier for me. You know what I mean? I don't have to have, you know, like all these other people involved and try to uh, put something together. And, and this way it really allows me to kind of do whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, so, yeah. Especially this past year with the pandemic, it must've been really <laughs> easy doing it all solo by yourself, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> And now uh, your music, you have a dark uh, vibe and style to it. You want to tell us about that? Um, yeah, I think I've always kind of been um, a songwriter that tends to, you know, express darkness or, you know, darker or sadness. Um, and it's, you know, I, I just, I can't write happy songs. Like, I've just never been able to. Like, people have always ask me like why don't you write something happy you know and like it just doesn't happen for me you know i find that whenever i have a painful experience or or something i tend to just have this you know rush of creativity whereas when i'm happy i'm like you know i don't really feel like writing so much um but i i also feel like i tend to listen to stuff that's more emotional or stuff that's darker um it just pulls me in more so that's kind of, I think that's, you know, it's just what I'm influenced by. So it kind of comes out of me like that. And tell us about your uh, latest single and video, Transmute. Awesome. Yeah. So Transmute is, I mean, I, I love this song. It's, it's amazing. Um, it's something a little different for me as far as production goes. Uh, you know, getting, getting to work with a, uh, a producer i've never actually worked with a producer i've always done everything on my own i mean i've, I've recorded in the studio uh, many many times but i've always been kind of at the helm and um having uh, an outside influence um really helped me kind of pinpoint a particular sound and really just pull out what's best in what i had and um i got the opportunity to work with kane churko is an amazing amazing producer amazing songwriter and uh you know he's produced some of my 
favorite stuff like you know that's going on right now like in this moment gemini syndrome um the violent idols and um you know so so having him uh help with this this track has been amazing it just you know it's really great and um the song's really punchy and it's kind of funny because it is a dark song but it's not it's not miserable you know there's like an undercurrent of optimism in it um Ooh. So I really, I'm really, I'm really digging it and it's doing really well. And uh, yeah, man, it's great. Awesome. Yeah, it's an awesome song. Thanks. And what do you have coming up in the future? Uh, right now, I'm not really sure. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm writing some more stuff. Um, I would hope to work with Kane again, you know, in the future. Um, you know, I'm kind of right now, I, I just released that track, so I'm still kind of, figuring out what direction I want to go in with it and, and seeing how people are reacting to it and you know um, whatever it is I, I'm pretty sure it'll be awesome <laughs> now if uh, people want to look you up online get your music on social media how do they do that um, they can just type in immerser that's I-M-M-E-R-S-E-R -E -E um, into Google and you'll find all kinds of stuff um, I'm on Facebook uh, Instagram, Twitter, every you know everything. Uh, or you can look up John Logan Parsons the Third. Um, you'll find a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. And I want to ask, how did the uh, name a Mercer come to be? A Mercer. Um, well, there's a couple different levels to that. Uh, as a, as a person, just in general, like I tend to immerse myself in everything I do. Um, so that's kind of partially where it comes from um if you look up the definition of a mercer it's it's somebody who is who baptizes people um or initiates them right and so i thought it was really cool like a cool way to sort of your you know when you're performing or when you're uh playing music you're initiating the listener you know into your experience whatever you're filtering from yourself through your instrument or you know whatever you're initiating that listener and uh you know so i like to think that you know immerser is a, is about initiating people in different experiences whether it is sadness or happiness or you know different experiences um so that's kind of where it came from and i'm sort of developed this character you know immerser it's it's like a character so pretty cool man yeah, yeah. I, I like the whole uh, style and vibe of the, the project. Thanks. And a lot of uh, the music, is it like your experiences, personal, outside influences, or a little combination of both? Um, what was that? Uh, is a lot of the uh, lyrics, uh, personal experiences, or outside experiences, or a little combination of both? Um, I mean, most, most of my, in the last 20 years of songwriting and stuff, um, it's pretty personal, you know, like, uh, I'm not the best at like writing superficial lyrics, you know, they tend to be pretty, pretty intense, um, and personal, you know, I don't, I don't like to be super specific with my writing though, because then, then I feel like you kind of alienate people. Like I, I like to write music that, uh, you know, anybody can kind of make their own. Right. So I try to keep it a little, you know, ominous, um, but, you know, I pull from all kinds of stuff. Um, I, I pull a lot from psychology, um, alchemy, different spiritual traditions, um, esoteric studies, uh, occult, um, you know, things like that. Uh, Gnosticism, uh, Hermeticism, Rosicrucianism, Templarism, Freemasonry, um, you know, and just a lot of it tends to be kind of dealing with uh, spirituality or just self-reflection, you know? So. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and where would you like to see the uh, future of uh, Mercer? Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to obviously reach as many people as possible. Um, and I'd like to also... You know, I don't know, like, especially like Transmute, for example, right? That, that new single that's out, like, 
that song's about change, right? It's about taking something of lesser value, turning it into something more valuable, right? Like al like in alchemy, you know, you turn lead into gold, uh, metaphorically speaking. And um, you know, you you know, the same process happens within yourself, within your mind, right? Everything starts in your mind. So if you can, you know, change your thinking about a particular experience that might be traumatic to you or or something that um, kind of hinders you, um, if you can find the positive lesson within that, then it can become a stepping stone for you as opposed to a roadblock, right? So the finding the lesson within the, the hurtful experience, you know? And that's kind of what Transmute is about. That's what that track is about. And I feel like there's a lot of people um, out there that are, are looking for something like that, you know, looking for a particular technique or something to help them grow um, out of their pain, you know? And, um, you know, many of us have experienced a lot of trauma, I have. And um, so, so for me, it's, I want to reach as many people as possible and hopefully that song will be a positive, positive influence on as, on as many people as possible and maybe uh, give people a different perspective. You know, there's a, there's a, a saying in a hermetic philosophy um, that says, uh, as above, so below. Right? I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, but the idea is that there's a you know, we're like a microcosm of the macrocosm, right? Like we're a little mini universe, right? A reflection of the whole. Um, but there's another part to that, which is as within, so without. So the idea is that if you can change your thinking and change your perception of things, then you can actually have an impact on your, your world, your physical world. So if you can take those experiences that uh, may have, hurt you or it may, may have caused you to build walls that no longer serve you, you know, um, you know, if you can change your thinking and take the power back from those situations, you know, so, you know, that's kind of what it's about. And that's, that's what I'm trying to do with this. You know, this project is just reach people, um, do something positive. Um, and also just, you know, just, just make good music. You know, um, I, I don't have a, you know, a huge plan, so to speak. I kind of just go with what my heart tells me and, and I follow it. And this is where it's led me, man. <laughs> so basically, oh. like turning darkness into light. Kind exactly. Of. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Or, or, I mean, you know, not even just turning the darkness into light because you need both. Right. Um, but it's, 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 it's like becoming comfortable with that darkness understanding that it's something that's necessary for everybody and it's and it's something that you can you know be comfortable with and learn to use as a tool uh for growth as opposed to something that just is destroying you so awesome well, I look forward to what you have coming up in the future, and it was good talking with you. Everybody, yeah. you came up. And for everyone watching, I've linked his music in the video description, so check that out. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it, man. Yeah.